This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. So last week I posted this video on how to create a dynamic typography text animation inside of After Effects and you guys absolutely loved it. So I thought why not create another typography tutorial on how to create a stretchy typography text animation inside of After Effects and that too without using any plugins. So here I am with another beautiful typography tutorial. I'm Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started with today's tutorial. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's go with 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be our text placeholder where we can type in any text that we want. So I'm going to call this text and hit OK. Then I'm going to select the text tool. And for the font, I'll be using one of my favorite that is integral font. I'll go with the integral bold. I'll, I have mentioned the link in the description of this font. So you can go ahead and download the exact same font. So I'm going to type in some text like hyper vibes and let's make this white. I'm going to align this into the center like so and let's set the kerning to zero. Now, if you hear some screaming noises, then just ignore it because it's just my little one. Um, she's five months old now and um, um, she's notorious. So here we have our text. Let's select this. Hit Control D, duplicate it and pull this below. Let's put this down. And this is going to be our subtext. Also, I'm going to change the font from bold to something like a regular. And yeah, that looks good. And I can type in my second text. So let's call this hyper vibes um, extreme power. Because the effect is kind of a powerful effect, right? We can also bring down the size if I want to. So I'll place it, you know, so that it aligns with our first text. And I'll put this up a bit. All right, there you go. That is looking good. So our text is ready. Let's go back into our main render comp, drag and drop in our text. Then I'm going to jump into effects and preset and type in an effect called scale wipe. There we go. CC scale wipe. I'm going to drag and drop it onto our text. And now basically if I increase the stretch, we get a really interesting look, right? So I want to keep the stretch all the way up to 100% and change the direction of the stretch to 90 degrees. And now you can see we get this really cool look. So there are two ways of doing this. First way is if I set this right over here, create a keyframe on the center, go to two seconds and then drag this to the right and boom if i hit u we have a cool reveal so this looks cool as well and i have already made a tutorial on a similar effect i've mentioned the link in the description below so you guys can check that out i also used saber and element 3d in that so that is a plugin based tutorial anyway so what i'm going to do right here is let's set this to um let's go with actually 960 which was default and then we have a nice reveal then I can select this scale wipe effect hit control D to duplicate it and change the direction to 270 and now I'm going to go right here at two seconds and set this to um, let's drag this out to the okay I'm going to bring, bring that a bit closer so it ends here and now boom there we have this really nice look now at the start it appears a bit weird so what I can do is jump into the text layer and jump two frames forward and let's move them move the text layers two frames forward in time 
So now it's going to start from zero and boom. And I think it, it looks a bit slow. So what I can do is hit U so we can see the keyframes and let's set this to one second and a 15 frames. And boom, there we go. It looks super cool. Now what I can do is add some glow on this. So first of all, let's create a new background. So I'm going to hit control Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. Let's make this a nice black color. Pull that at the back and on the text layer, text composition, basically I'm going to add some glow so I can double click to apply that up. You can see it looks pretty good. Let's um, increase the glow radius really high and pull up the glow threshold all the way up to 100 and then bring down the glow intensity. I want to keep it very subtle. So I'll go with a glow radius of 150 maybe. And also, um, yeah, that looks good. Also switch to 16 bits from 8 bits. So I can hold alt and click on this icon. So it's going to basically switch to 16 bits. And it's looking pretty cool, right? Now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AE Juice. They have an amazing I Want It All bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions, presets, titles for your project. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investments that will last you for a lifetime. Plus, they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information, check out the link in the description below. So I'm going to select this, hit Ctrl Shift C to precompose it and make sure you set this to move all attributes and I'll call this animation. Hit OK. And I'm going to do, uh, I have showed this technique a number of different uh, ways and number of different times, but I'm going to do that again. It's pretty simple the way we create the RGB effect. But before that, before doing that RGB effect, let's give it a bit more movement to our text. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer called this zoom. All right, go into effects and preset and type in a transform. Let's add a transform go at the very start give it a scale of around 125 and a rotation of um let's go with something like minus eight or something create a keyframe on the rotation and the scale go to three seconds set the scale to 100 and set the rotation to zero then i'm going to hit use so we can see the keyframes select those keyframes hit f9 and then go into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph. I'm going to select this point and drag the handle to the left holding shift and do the same with this as well. So we have this really nice and simple animation. Maybe for the scaling, I'll go with 150 because I want it to be a bit more intense and um, now let's go ahead and create that RGB effect, which actually I showed it in the previous tutorial as well, but it's super simple. So let me just do it one more time. I'm going to select the animation layer, go into effects and preset and type in shift channels. Let's double click to apply that up, change the take from red to red, take from green to full off and take from blue to full off. Also change the blending mode of this to add. So I'm going to select this, hit control D, select the second one, set the red to full off and turn on the green channel. Then I'm going to select this, hit control D, select the third one. Let's set this to normal, set the green to full off and the blue to blue basically. And now if I just move them or displace them by a couple of frames, maybe boom, there we have this really interesting reveal and as you can see it looks super cool and there we go there we have our stretchy typography animation inside of after effects which looks super cool and super flashy now you can do a number of different things like for example i can actually um, select this and go into effects and preset and add some turbulence uh, displacement so if i can go right here I can drop that and we can achieve some really interesting results. You know, we can just move this a bit, maybe, you know, just give some waves and stuff. 
something like that and we would get a really interesting look so i can just copy this hit control c control v and let's move the evolution a bit and now what i can do is basically animate this so i can go right here create a new keyframe go to around one second or let's go to maybe one second and 10 frames and set this to zero right and let's do this for this one as well so let's create a keyframe on the amount go to right over here and set this to zero and basically there we go there we have this really nice reveal so it's a pretty cool effect pretty simple and you can do a number of different things using this so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the typography animation if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel and do let me know in the comment section below that which effect you thought was helpful to you and did you learn anything new anyways also if you want to support this channel you can check out our patreon page the link is in the description where you can contribute just one dollar to support the channel it will help me and motivate me to create more and more content and focus you know focus my full attention on creating more great content for you guys so i'll try my best and i hope you guys do your best by just subscribing to the channel it's free and if you feel generous you can always support me on patreon again the link is in the description and also i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out